<laughs> Yo, my bad, guys. I had to clear up my phone. That shit says no space. I'm like, man, what the? So I had to go do what I had to do real quick. So I'm back. So, okay. Where was I? I was giving y'all examples as I always do. The strength as a mother, as a pop, as, as a parent, period. You know, like say you have a car and say the car fall on your, your child leg or whatever, God forbid again, that will never be your story. That will never happen, but me and my weird ass example. Anyway, the strength of a mother for their child, a parent period for their child, because a father, you know, go ahead and father that's on that right, you know, right shit, doing the right shit for their kids. They see some shit like that. I'm telling you, the strength that's within us, we literally pick up that car. I, I, I don't seen it, like, not in real life, but I seen it on the news just, you know, like one time years ago. And then I seen little sketches like that on the internet. But it's, it just goes to show how resilient you are, how, sh you know, like, you're not going to get... You ain't going to allow anything to stop you, anything to get in your way. You, again, you could be a little battered up, bruised, a little cut here, bruised there. It's okay to, you know, embrace the, them bruises, embrace that one. You survived. You won, you know. Whatever you went through, you won. You, you just won. Damn. <laughs> you just won. Yeah. Cause why you just it's like bad bitch activated, you know, um ten of um pentacles, you know, so your money's about to look real great. I'm picking that up. Ooh, talking about money, right? Who knows what it means? Like when you have a dream, right? Cause I had a dream night before last, um, about my, my mom. She passed away, and in the dream, I was gonna go pick up my money. And my mom came with her beautiful, beautiful self. And she was like, I got something for you. I'm like, okay. I'm like, um, give it to me cause, or now or you want to give it to me later because I got to go get this money. So um, I'm, I'm about to go pick up my money. She said, you could go pick that up um, later, but let me give you this first. And when I say this lady in the drink gave me a whop of money, cash, I'm, my eyes just went from chinky because I had chinky eyes to woo. I'm like, whoa. She was like, yeah. I told you. You don't got nothing to worry about. And, and, and then in the dream, I just got this heat wave over me. And I woke up like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was so mad. Because I ain't dreamed my mom in a while. So, you know, she was so damn beautiful. And she was just giving me money and whatnot. And telling me, I, I told you, you. She said, I told you you're going to be all right. You don't have to worry about money or anything. Even though I was gonna go pick up money, she gave me uh, a <laughs> she she gave me so much damn money. I was like, whoa, how much is this? She's like, count it. But before I could do anything, I just felt a stroke of heat. And you know, spirit boy, spirit be coming through with the heat, and they also be coming in with the cold. So you gotta know which spirit is around you. So I'm just like, and I was so upset so upset because I, I wanted you know when you just wanted to just finish the dream i literally lay, <laughs> lay back down and try to go back to close my eyes not me trying to force the dream to come back <laughs> i was literally like okay come back mommy come back i got questions more questions it ain't even about money but c c come back <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay me no my I am crazy in a great way. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm telling you, money is coming. I feel that so, so, so strong. So strong. If y'all look have a money situation, bills looking a little funny, it's all right. You, you about to get so much money, you're going to pay off your bills. You know, put have money to put away. And have money to splurge. You are gonna be all right. I'm telling you. But no, seriously. If y'all know what that dream means, comment down below. Something coming in though. Something with money coming in. Like real talk. 
something about money is coming in. Don't, what sign is it? Is it, um, is it Mercury? That deals with luck, money, success, stuff like that. Is it Mercury? Ain't we about to, if we, now I really ain't been on my app in a minute about, I gotta step it up, Tanya. About this planets and stuff, because I'm supposed to know certain stuff already. Like, I shouldn't be, like, asking if it's this. I should just already know. Yeah, because I'm a Capricorn, and that's what we do. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. We, we, we are so hard on ourselves for no apparent reason. That's why it says be gentle to yourself. <laughs> be calm and, and love and patient with yourself. I, I know I resonate with that, because... <sighs> But is there anything else? <laughs> no. Okay. Anything else? You want me to get anything else? It's going to be a real short reading. Well, I'm going to have to add it on because it, you know, this damn Apple phone want to, no space bullshit want to come out. Let's get some signs out here to see what's going on. Because I've been on the fire signs for a minute. See if any other signs want to come out to embrace this reading. <laughs> Earth sign. We got Taurus in the house. My fella, my fella Taurus. We got Taurus, Scorpio, and Libra in the house. So what we got? Earth. Oh, well, it's all the elements. Fire, earth, air, and water. So again, all the fire signs is out here. Then we got Taurus, Scorpio, and Libra. It could be you or it could be in your chart. Yep. Um, another thing I want to do, I got so much damn cards. I'm so grateful. Uh, I try to go to what's calling my name. And here we go. Let's get one before I close out because I'm just going to try to merge these two videos together. If not, it's going to be a real short one. <sighs> I got other videos to do today. I'm trying to, to do multiple videos today. It says, take the weight of the world off your shoulder and that's what this is you did that and you returned that motherfucking shit right back to motherfucking sender so who wanted put all the, the ten of one in the upright they wanted this shit for you but it's no longer happening to you what was what was what they wanted for you is not happening to them you tuck the weight off your shoulder and you put it right you send that shit right back where it belong it don't belong with you not in this season shit hell no nah. Not in this season. You said deuces. You know, for my fellow Starseed. Because this is my Starseed deck. Kind of, you know? Your galactic family's trying to tell you, don't worry about shit. Take the weight off your shoulder, which you did. And they're proud of you. Whew. Okay. We got, I clear my energy field. That also came out again. So it's coming out again. Keep your energy as pure as possible. Cast out these energy vampires. These, you know, negative energy and evil energy. Keep, keep that shit away from you. Be like, uh, er, no, no, thank you. Yeah, I got to go because I don't like what I'm feeling. You don't, and again, you don't got to explain yourself to nobody. Just be like, I'm out. <laughs> Because you feel what you feel, and you know what you know, so you do, do sis. You don't got to explain shit to anybody, unless you choose to, but you don't have to. Real talk. Then we have, my sexuality is sacred. Yeah. <laughs> sexuality. What, what, what's this spirit? It's like the energy vampires, like motherfuckers want your sexual energy so they can manifest longer. Do you know the portents of 
your sexual energy? Do you not know the magnitude of how you can build off just that alone? She, you know how to do it. Do it for yourself. Okay? Don't let nobody take your shit and use it for themselves. They they've been doing that last season. We in a whole new season. It ain't happening. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Protect your sexual energy. And if you dreaming, right, and that you're about to, you know, you moaning and about to have sex or something, about to climax, wake your ass up. What especially if it's a familiar face that you know you have no business. Wake your ass up. Get up. Hell, before you go to sleep, tell spirit, if this shit, this dream happened again or whatever, please wake me up. Splat, throw water in my face, something. Wake me up because I'm not climaxing for somebody to pull on my energy and then they go build. And then I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? I thought I was supposed to do this, this, and that. And then you kind of find out some bullshit happened. You know, because they relentless out here. They will try everything, everything to get your sexual energy because that's how strong, important it is. You don't understand how strong, important your sexual energy is. Real talk. You know, I'm here to honor your sexual energy. So you might need to do, I'm doing my hand like this because it's a, um, what is called? What am I? Oh, uh, here we go. Um, the Muda deck, where you deal with your own um, meditation and stuff like that. So you might want to do some meditation on um your sex for your um for your womb area. Is it like this? It's something like that. But you can look it up or if you into that deck or whatever. But maybe you need to do some womb healing is what I'm hearing for some of y'all out there. And another in another way I'm also seeing this, you know. You just like a bad bitch that's being activated and you know that your sexuality is sacred. You just ain't out here giving it to every and anybody. You know? You could be celibate just like myself, you know, by choice. You know, because guys we throw this up at me every day. But my thing is, when I found out how <laughs> how powerful I am with a powerful in it. Sexual, what? I'm just not, like, you really, I, mm, it's just not going down like before. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. I need my shit for myself. To manifest on myself. For my future generation. That's to come. My blood lineage will not die off just like that. I'm about to manifest some great things into my life. You know, I trust the wisdom that's within that's the ancestors speaking. Trust that inner guidance. They know it. Trust it. Feel it. Go with it. Because why the world outside of you will lie to you every fucking day of your life? Your inner guidance will never, and I mean absolutely never lie to you. Will never steer you wrong. Ever. You just got to trust. And know. And believe. And have faith. Healing myself heals my link. The ancestors again. Healing yourself, guys, is gonna heal your blood lineage. That's how you help. You know, that's you know, by working on you. You're not just helping you and working on you and thinking you're just doing it for self. Nah, baby. Because them ancestors that ain't been born yet, that's gonna be born and coming in here, you're gonna be setting an example. You it's always a first to everything, and you're the first to do it. So it may be tricky because some of y'all may be looking for people, maybe from your blood lineage or maybe from other lineage to help you, but they can't really help you for the simple fact you are the first. So it's whatever you say, whatever you do, how you go about it. You're, you're the star player. You're the star, baby. It's whatever you do say, you are the first. So there's nobody before you to do it. So there's, therefore, there's no real knowledge before you to do it because you are the first to do it. Now, anybody after you, that's different. You got all kinds of people to help you after you because the first already happened. You feel me? But you are the first. So by healing yourself, 
mind, body, soul, spirit, sexuality, everything. You're healing them. You're healing bloodline. They won't go through what you went through because you did it so that they won't have to do it. You went through what you went through so your generation that's to come won't have to go through it because you did it for them. You went through it for them. You understand what I mean by that? You got this. We got you are not alone. You are not. You know, you, you never was alone. You just didn't know at the time. South, no energy. You didn't know. But now you know you, you, you were never alone. Never alone. It says, devotion unites me with the infinity. Yes. Like, seriously. Huh? Be dedicated to yourself. Be dedicated to your healing, to your growth. Tap into your ancestors. Tap into your inner guidance, your inner knowing, your inner knowledge. Everything, again, is inner. That's where it starts from. It doesn't start from outside of you. It, you will be blinded like there's no other. It starts within you. Again, you are the first to do this. There was nobody before you to do this. Many has tried, but many has failed. No one got as far as you did. No one. And there was ancestors before you that was assigned, but they just didn't make it. You made it further than any of your ancestors did, is what I'm hearing. Congratulations to that. So you are the chosen, chosen one of your blood lineage to bring the change to your blood lineage to heal your blood lineage of generation curse. Again, generation curse is in the blood. It's not something outside of you. It's within you. This whole reading is within you. Ancestors saying connected them within you. Everything is in within you. I talked about altar within you. You know, you think it, you set up the altar how you want it in your head. You know, you everything is within you. As it's healing within you, then the healing start coming outside of you is what I'm saying. And you, your, even your body is changing, you know. Everything about you is changing. Yo, I'm hearing people ain't going that knew you in the past, South No Energy, ain't even going to recognize you. They're going to be like, damn, that's Tanya? Damn, that, that's, that's you? What happened? What you talk? What's your secret? I healed myself. I took time out and did the work on self and will forever take time out and do the work on self because we're always going to be healing ourselves because new levels, new devils. <laughs> so you always got to be on point. I think that's it, though. <laughs> we're going to close out. Let's get one of these cards. Close out with one of these. Or, or, or two. Forgiveness. Forgiveness came out. Forgive them motherfuckers. Forgive everybody that hurt you. A secret to forgiveness is now. It, it ain't about them. Fuck them motherfuckers. It ain't for it. <laughs> Stop trying. But it's the truth. It ain't for them, spirit. Forgiveness is for you. To know whether they accept your forgiveness or not, is not that's not your problem. That's all they problem. As long as you forgave them and you keep it moving, and go live your life and continue healing and working on yourself and doing the best what you can for yourself and becoming the best version of yourself. That's all it takes. You don't have to worry about falling back into certain people, places, and things and old habits because you already forgave them and you forgave how you handled it or whatever you went through. You forgave. Now, again, if they don't want to forgive you, that, that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with them. And they have a lot of healing to do if they can't forgive them. Because if God could forgive you, who the fuck is you? Who, who, can, who can't forgive you? Who can't um, accept your forgiveness? You know, they need, a, they have a lot of work to do is what I'm saying, you know. As long as you could forgive them and keep it moving. Because, you know, again, they don't know no better. You do now. You know better. That's why you're asking for forgiveness, whether they accept it or not. You forgave them because you don't want that energy to follow you. Leave that, leave that dead weight behind. Leave that shit behind. Leave that, the, the ten of one in the Leave that shit behind. See, that thing came out twice somewhere. Leave that shit behind. 
You know what I'm saying? Leave that shit behind. You want, <laughs> worry's a thing of the past for you. This worry which part? When you know you got your ancestors, you got your spirit guides, you got your guardian angels, your art angel, your orishis, your animal kingdom, you some of y'all from a bloodline of royalty, you got um some of y'all star seeds, you got galactic beings. You, that's a lot of people that's on your side that's rooting for you and trying to help you and guide you and protect you and do everything. Worry which part. And ultimately, you ready for this one? Ultimately, you got the most high God. So worry where? This is what's happening to them because they're still down there not learning, not choosing to, they choosing to stay in that energy. They don't want to heal themselves. They don't want to face themselves. Let me tell you something about that. It's so easy to point the finger and the blame and kiki kiki with everybody, you feel me? But when you got to face your motherfucking self, Look yourself in the, that's the hardest thing to do. It is because you can't lie to yourself. While you can lie to every Tom, Dick, and Harry, you cannot lie to yourself. You notice, you know the freaking truth. And when you're able to forgive yourself, that's the best thing you could do for yourself is forgive yourself because for you didn't know better. You was operating on a low frequency, which is worry, fear, illusion, all that. Doubt, guilt, all that. That's 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 self no energy. You're no longer there. You got God. Like literally, me and my, me and the Most High, real talk. Believe me or not, I really don't care. Me and God be playing chess, real talk. We play chess. He be like, okay, your move. Want some next? And it's not no earthly chess neither. It's all it's so different. But that's that's me and God's sacred thing right there. You feel me? So worry where. Yes, old habits was try to, you know, cling on to us. Like, no, 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 come back. I'm a familiar. You're used to me. You're comfortable with me. You, 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 you settle and all. Settle which part? I sit to our bum because I deserve better. I am better. Great. Settle which part? Be comfortable in that in, in that energy. Nah, I, 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 I like it up here. They do say it's lonely at the top, but I'm not lonely at all. At all. <laughs> I just named so much energy that's around me, so much spirits that's around me. I ain't nowhere I'm lonely. No, I I'll be like, Father, you ready to play some chess? <laughs> you know, teaching me chess on a whole different level. Real talk. Connect with God, yo. Connect with the Most High God. You know? Have a sacred relationship with Him. Connect to Gaia. Connect to the universe. Just... Connect. Connect to your ancestors. Very important because they are the first line of defense against these other spirits that likes to attach themselves, these familiar spirits, these um what you gonna call it? Spirits that be spying on us and shit like that and going back. Cause they can't the thing is with these spying energies and these crap they sent our way to see what we doing, how we doing, they don't know what's going on within us what we're thinking, feeling. It's God who who has that power and ability. All they could do is send out, thank you, spirit, monitor spirits, and they monitor you like any fucking hog. Then sit on there and just watch your every bumba clock move. But they, they, they trying to say, oh, this is what she do, this is what she do. Mm -hmm. I love to give them, a, <laughs> I love to entertain them because when they think that they know me, I quick and make a different turn. They be like, wait, hey, 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 hold on. She threw me all off. She was supposed to do this and go this way because this is what she normally do. Yeah, I know that's that's what I want you to think. That's exactly what I want you to think and go back and tell the motherfuckers that send you this way to spy on me, to monitor my every move, my every existence, you know. But once you have God within you, your ancestors rooting for you, your spirit guide guiding you, <laughs> anything you get is all a part of a bigger plan you feel me you're not going to get me you're not I surrender to them forgiveness is important guys very important again forgiveness is for you not them because you could continue going on with your life 
and they leave them in their little bitterness and their little ten of one burden energy. Leave it to them. Been there, done that. Me, me not want that no more. I'm on something bigger and better. Feel me? God put something in me that's so humongous. <laughs> Blood clock. You gonna see my name in credits. You gonna see my name in light. And I mean that shit. And I, I'm not gonna share because mm, it's not time yet. But know that this level for us guys, motherfuckers gonna see us. And they're not gonna believe it. And then they're going to sit there in that 10 to 1 energy and be like, damn, I fucked up. I thought she was this and I thought she was that. No, motherfucker. I always tell my ex, I'll allow you to do what you do because I needed healing for myself. I needed to work on myself. But don't think you ever got away with anything because whatever you thought you got away with is me allowing you to think that you got away with it. Real talk, I knew everything. Everything. I didn't need a, a, a tarot reading. I didn't need a soothsayer to tell me. I knew from within. I God put something in me to just instantly know. And it's how I operate, how I how I play it out is how it's gonna play out. You got this. You are at a, a level that you just gonna be going to sleep and wake up and feel like, yo, I feel like a whole brand new person. Like, what happened to the OU? Oh, it's down there in the south. No, um, chop that up to the car shit record. Been there, done that. Ain't trying to go back. Nope, door closed. <laughs> got them padlocked it. <laughs> Did everything to it. Cemented down. Yeah, you ain't going back. Mm -mm. No, not at all. I will hope you don't go back. I can only speak for me, you know. I'm not telling you what to do. You know, I'm just suggesting something. I wouldn't go back. Once God take you out of a situation, I would stay out of that situation. I'm not going to go behind God back and go open that door that he padlocked down. You know, for some of y'all, y'all padlocked down. You can't even get back in. Even if you take a, a, a thing and blow it up, it still ain't going to open. God said, no, I closed it permanently. Now keep it moving forward. <laughs> Like, seriously, yo, ain't no going back for us. It's nothing but up. Because when we up, we up, we up, we up. And then we up, we up, we up. <laughs> I'm silly. Don't play with me. I, I, that's just me. I'm a silly person at times. I, I just love me. I love me. And I pray that you love yourself. You know? You got to be at this level of shit. Like, you don't need nobody. I don't need nobody to love me. I love myself. Now, anybody loving me, thank you. That's extra. You know what I'm saying? That's extra loving. Who don't like some extra loving? No, I know I do, but don't get it twisted. <laughs> I can love myself to death. <laughs> okay? And I pray my collective love they self to death. And any love that they get coming their way, it's just extra. And that's what I have for you guys. Y'all have a blessed night. I really, really love this reading tonight. It was just, ancestors really came through. Like, bad bitch activated. 